the top. Just great. oh, yay! I don't know. Okay. I feel like it's like a skill matchup, and it's just fun to watch. Yeah. Late puck jug probably carry it, but again, gaming are used to playing in, in that type of setup, and a high ground blink from Quinn he is just. Laying into Kiyotaka. Yeah, he challenges Kiyotaka. Kiyotaka does have a fairy fire. Oh, no, Quinn Quinn's also dead. has a fairy fire. Oh! oh. oh. He has an orb. One more hit. Oh, oh shit, yeah. they're going for it. The fairy fire, but no, the orb oh, came back up. And Quinn did not think that was going to happen to him. got to keep an eye on this juggernaut. He got way too much out of the lane last time. Spin goes off, and he's going to kill Tofu again. Not for first blood this time. They already gave that one. Okay, he did get the water rune in front of him. Is that regen going to be enough? It doesn't look like it. He's dead Quinn again. Knows he's in trouble and he's dead again. <laughs> you enjoy my poetry. Oh, look out. Okay, maybe the blast off after the spin ends. They're not going to be able to kill him through that immediately. Oh, but oh it lands oh. on both of them and it gets solo killed. So Tofu back in business here. What He'll land a sticky hit? bomb onto Ramses. If he could only kill the healing ward. Did he get it? Oh, he got it. So once that low lichen, and he will get him here. Quick little gank for the puck, and he can get his bottle refilled by Solo Man. Uh, steal the stack. I mean, you, you might ult this bad boy. You got Arcane Yeah, you got Arcane Root. Just do it. Is it enough? It's not enough damage, though. He needs one more scream, and he might go for it. I'm ulting this. I don't know about you, but... They're going to pull it away from him. That's kind of awkward. There it is. He Ooh, clicked in for it. Did click some of it, but now he's going to be caught in the coil, blinking into that one. Maybe not what he wanted. And, oh, the sun came through and did help out a little bit. They killed the Tidehunter and kill Antares. No, Antares managed to die himself to the Ancients instead, which uh, I think Celery's also going to deny himself to. Yeah. Between <laughs> Antares and Quinn. Quinn. <laughs> Nero and Quinn. Yeah, this Omni Slash is not going to be too effective this game. No, the Lycan ult is going to be a constant problem. And they maybe can still kill Ramses. Yep, there it goes. Give him that Final tip. screen gets him, and Solo can probably be run down by Ace, who still has his shapeshifts going. Stun. Tofu keeps on pump faking it here, trying to get Antares to use the disruption on himself and then get the kill. But Antares never did that. Plus 125. And now he's going to be caught by the coil as they really want to make sure that they get this ancient stack. Again, Roche has also been nerfed over recent patches, right? Like, Roche link Halberd, but this is a lot of net worth for him to find on a hero that is not finding it at the fastest rate. Okay. He's going to hammer Dorachio. That... <laughs> A smoke move. He did not get more off. How works? He ravaged on these slash. He's gonna oh, finish what? him off. That there's no way that should have worked. They should not have worked. That is. An now they got the coil kill. onto Quap. Sonic Wave looks to push him back. Ramses quickly pops Manta, but now he has to spin away as Ace, the big bad wolf, is here. And he's huffing oh. and puffing, and Techies is knocking jump. down your door with the blast off. The lands onto two. They're gonna go for Ramses first. Down low, looks like they can finish him off. Can they keep going though? Do they have that same power? Is Kiyotaka gonna be able to bounce back in and finish off Tofu with the help of his friends? Looks like they should be able to get him as the gush does bring him down. Now with the shape shift on cooldown, it does feel like Game of Gladiators are gonna have to back away. Do you manage Spikes to get another kill kited. this time on the Bat Rider? But this Kiyotaka Nero duo seems oh, kind of untouchable. That they finish him off with a hammer. Miro's going to be slowed down big time, and now that Durancio's back into it, they have some real damage. They're going to put it on Demiro, probably kill him. So they get four. Two for four. It doesn't last that long. About ace. Two managed to get the lasso on him, but he's already popped Shape Gift. They are going to be able to get kill. the disruption. The coil's going to be used. The Omni Slash is going to be used. Everything to be able to kill Ace. He has been so important for gaming gladiators and their success in some of these early fights. That is four ults. Can gaming take the fight with everything on cooldown here? I mean, surely you you have to be able to at this point. Sonic Wave really doesn't latch onto much. Ramsey's the only one touched by that one. Immediate scythe onto the puck, but shrugs off that disable and blinks away. Solo looks like he's going to be left behind. Nine pandas without their ultimates don't feel super great about fighting, but they can't just run away. Oh, I don't know if you want to wait for Tormentor with your top net worth on the team. And I think these mini... Beginning to back him up. Pipe and four staff going to get Solo out of there. Miro jumps forward. 
Trying to bait it. Yeah, but he's out of mana now. They're going to be able to get the lasso with an Ogre Seal Totem to be able to pull the Morphling out of position. Now, he does still have an Aegis, but blast off, but finally the Aegis is finished off. Try as they might, they couldn't save that extra life. Now, Duraccio is going to be ravaged up on these slash as well. Duraccio silence on They're top of to everything else. Ace does manage to run in, and with all the strength that Duraccio built up, He's going to be just fine. Ramses does have a double damage, though, so they're going to need to kite this around as much as possible. He pops the spin. He's willing to fight Ace, and that's why Ace is going to dodge oh, away. Oh, going to be used. That Kiyotaka finally gets caught playing too aggressive against the Scythe of Ice. That is the type of Hex you are looking for in these fights. Punish the Pucka overextension. Double damage for Ramses. It did some work, but not enough as the heals and the sustain in the ball are coming through. The gaming push is deadly for a reason, and they're here to claim your buildings. Ramsey's gonna have to do it the hard way. No ult. Lean into Duraccio. Anchor Another smash. Scythe. Without Dolly Ravage, up. without Omni Slash. It does feel like nine pandas have run out of tools, and they're gonna have to give up one lane of barracks. Do a sustain is just insane right now. And Quinn finishes an Ags. He's immediately in. Sonic Wave onto the two of them. Once again, Solo is able to get out with some help as the dagger doesn't quite finish him off. They do lose Miro, though. Kiyotaka back into play. Blinks in. Orbs out. Got to be careful of that side of ice. But this damage, this damage, it's overwhelming the buildings. They do still have a tier two up in bottom lane. The last one, pull back into the tier fours. No more. This got him. No, BKB B immediately goes off. He's going to be fine. Goes for Antares. Goes for the spin off the uh, Juggernaut steal. Couldn't get him, so he goes for Solo instead. Ace makes that pretty easy. Omni Slash bouncing around, really hitting nothing here. Ramses comes back into a world of hurt. A scythe disruption, yes, but he's still going to come back surrounded by heroes. The healing ward is helping keeping him alive, but it's only going to last so long. Gaming Gladiators, and there's, there's the tip. tip that was coming in. You oh. knew it was coming. Once, as soon as Gaming Gladiators feel like they've won the game, Quinn is going to return fire. Can Kyo talk again? Anything done? This Dagon is dealing damage, but it's just all getting regent up. The poke is not working out. They'll try and find Tofu with the hammer, and they should get him on the side. They will find one kill after all of this push. And are gaming done? I mean, why not just keep going here? No jug for 40. And you know he does not have the gold to save her buyback. No shape shift yet on Ace. Do have a Ravage, but I don't think you can burst these cores off it without the Juggernaut Omni Slash and another Tombstone just zoning, giving vision. Now they the hit goes out. They're gonna go for Duraccio, but he's already morphed into strength. If he does that, they definitely run out of damage, I think, because the coil is gonna be used. Holding a lot of heroes, but the Sonic Wave proves to be the superior ultimate, taking down one. Once again, Solo able to get away with 10 health, but his buildings won't get away. Mega creeps are about to be achieved. A hammer to slow him down, but it finally falls. That's going to be Mega creeps, and that may be the end of the game, unless Nine Pandas want to play for the real long haul. They got to get some kills out of this one now, but Ramsey's he's so slowed down, they can't stop Duraccio from TPing. Celery, he's also going to get out. They don't catch anybody. And a Shiva is about to be finished for Quinn. On top he was already thing. so tanky. He was just boldly blinking into them all the time. Good luck. Good luck killing him now. Dagon 5 for Kiyotaka. You're going to need a couple of those. Tries to burst Oh, we almost got him. He was so damn that close. That was way closer than I thought. That would have been the first time that Dagon really paid off. Omni Slash. I mean, not he is alone. Not doing much here at all. He is going to get chased down for sure. Yeah, he's going to be blasted off after this. No, oh, he doesn't even last long enough. Ravage, okay. This one's over. Any more? Absolutely time? over and ah, cooked him. You knew it was it coming. Is. You knew it was coming. It gets returned. Absolutely returned to sender here. Ramsey's with the double in game two, but Quinn with the double at the end and gets that series win. Gotta feel good about that one. Once again, it just feels like nine pandas can push gaming to the edge, but they cannot get the dub versus team. Quinn also dropped all his items. Wow.
got to show some extra disrespect here, you know, after you got manhandled, especially with the, the oh, very tough start. Boy, did he get manhandled by yeah. Kiyotaka. I mean, they, yeah, we talked dumb. about, like, Quinn, one of the best laners in the world, one of the best mids in the world. Laning is his specialty. Kiyotaka, I mean, really proves something, I think, by, by in this series, beating him, I think, twice. Yep. In lane. I mean, this time he had help, right? You have to skill sure. blink level one. You had to walk the fountain. And then when you, you go for this mana play by Quinn, I think that's an interesting play. If he wins that trade, then maybe he nullifies the downturn that happened before the lane even started. Yeah. So, like, that play looks kind of goony, but...